it's me, Fire Pumpkin. Thanks for joining me for another week of Creation Corner. This week, we are culminating the past three weeks of designs into one kitchen. Couple things to note. One, I only did this on foundations. Uh, the video would have been twice as long if I did this with ceiling tiles. So technically, or I would say, in theory, I didn't test it, but in theory, you should be able to create this on ceiling tiles, especially using the drop ceiling with the pillar, incremented pillar ceiling technique. I've got to come up with a better name for that. Anyway, that, um, and I'm not going to be going step by step with everything that I do. Um, I'm just going to be pointing out important things and sometimes I actually got a little crazy. So uh, you might love my little outburst. You might hate them. We'll see. Um, and then lastly, I just wanted to thank my newest member, Kathy. Kathy, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And I just want to make sure that you join Discord, my Discord. The link's in the description below. It's also at the end of the video. To any other members who joined, if you haven't, make sure you join the Discord so we can connect and discuss and I can get one-on-one -on -one feedback of the kind of content you want me to create for you. All right, that's it. Let's get into the kitchen design. All right, this week on Creation Corner, we are taking this into overdrive. We are culminating all of the designs that we've done in the past three weeks, and we're putting it into one big kitchen. And we are doing the half snap point foundations, but we're gonna be doing it with four snap points. Up to this point, we only did snap foundations in one direction. We're gonna be doing side by side. So there's gonna be four snap points. As you can see, that's what I'm doing now. There's just a little extra added technique but if I'm rushing through and you can't follow it, I will be sure to put a link in the description below so you can go back and watch that. It's from Sefiro Ultima, my buddy. Um, he is a rather new uh, creator, but he's got some nice builds and of course this tutorial. So make sure to go and check it out if you need help, especially if you don't know what the heck I'm doing. All right, now that we've got our snap points, our four different snap points, I need to lower them five increments. So again, I'm using the pillar technique to get down five steps, lowering those foundations by five increments. Now just know I've got to do this four times. There's four snap points that I'm trying to utilize for this design. And a couple times uh, it caught me out where it didn't snap to the right spot. So you just want to uh, make sure in the end you've got all four snap points. Okay, now that I've got my snap points, I'm going to bring them into my area and make sure that I cover the space that I'm looking to build. And now again, this was a free flow design. 
Uh, I didn't actually have something in mind before I started, so I just gave myself a nice area of snap points to work with. Next, we are going to block out the design using the double door frames. I do change some of these out later on in the design, but this is just the blocking. I'm gonna see where everything's gonna go. I think I'm gonna go for a traditional U shape with a nice island, um, and then of course the counter with the stove and the sink. So I was challenged by a viewer slash buddy, Nerevin, to see if I could use my stove design and actually put a campfire into it so you can actually cook in it. So I am trying to do that here. It took me a little while to maneuver the right heights and to get uh, the cryo fridges um, in, a, in a good position so they weren't blocking the campfire, but I finally figured it out um, and hopefully you'll be able to recreate it as well. So I'm testing it out. You can see I'm putting a campfire down just to test to make sure I can open it. And then once I know that I can, and the cryo fridges are in a good position, then I add in some crop plots to raise up the campfire. Eventually the campfire will be hidden by the normal height foundations, mostly, uh, but you'll still be able to get in and cook from it. And the effect is actually pretty cool. Cause you got the fire inside and then you got all that smoke rising up from the, the burners. So it looks pretty cool. Too bad we just couldn't, I couldn't figure out a way to make a pot, right? That would have been great. But like a, looks like you're making spaghetti on the stove. That'd be cool. Could you imagine if uh, the devs started putting that kind of stuff in? Man, I mean, I'd be out of a job, but still, it, it'd be awesome. I'm using four small crop plots to bring the campfire up to that height. And I'm using two more in the back to raise up the back of the stove. So now we're like six crop plots high. Tiny crop plot is a hard thing to say. I, it's a tongue twister. How many plots did a crop plot plot of a crop plot could plot plots? I will never be able to say that again. I'm glad I recorded it. <laughs> oh, where are we? I went off on a tangent. Okay, and a way to come up with covering the stove, I am using a catwalk, as you can see there. It sticks through the wall, and nothing I can do about that. So you might need to hide that in your build or try to incorporate that somehow wherever it's poking through, whether it's poking through the outside, turn it into a flower box, who knows, a bit of a decoration, or if it's in another room, turn it into a little floating shelf or a table, something cool. I know you'll figure it out. All right, next, uh, moving on to the sink. Again, with the sink design, we also need a foundation that is three increments down. So that is what I'm gonna be doing now, creating two snap point foundations, three increments down. Ignore this bit. I was just testing it out and it was wrong. So just ignore those crop lots. You're going to be adding the foundation at the normal height. See, like I did just there. And then you're going to place uh, one crop lot to raise up the chair.
that is it for the design. Let's add some color, shall we? All right, that's it for the full kitchen design. I hope you enjoyed this content and the culmination of the past three weeks of Creation Corner. Tune in next time. We will start on something new. I'm actually making some keto cookies. If anybody wants some, message me in the comments below. That's what I'm baking there. Yeah, are the cookies ready? Someone get me a cookie. Get me a cookie. Yeah, yeah. No, I think they're ready. Take them off the stove. Yeah, dodo flavor. Should be good. I heard, I heard dodo's good. Like, like a big chicken. A big, stupid chicken. <laughs> if you like this content, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. And remember, YouTube memberships are live. So if you're interested in supporting this channel, helping it to get better, as well as getting some cool perks, then click on that join button. But thanks for joining me in another week. And as always, I will see you soon. How many plots at a crop plot plot of a crop plot could plot plots?